Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Steve Good here to talk about Bybit and leverage trading. There's a lot of things out there when it comes to leverage trading, and I thought it'd be good to kind of jump in and talk about how to use Bybit in particular, which is a great platform. Uh, by the way, the links are down below if you want to subscribe or to sign up to, uh, Bit, to Bybit. Uh, referral code's down below, so just click on that. It gets you in there. And uh, yeah, so uh, what I wanted to talk about was basically what is leverage trading and how to use Bybit. I tell you what, Bybit has a ton of features, just a load of features. And I don't want you guys to miss out on these features. I have spent a lot of time going through it, figuring it out, and it's like a screen that looks really simple, but I tell you what, they've done a great job of putting it all together, so there's a lot here. So let me just kind of dig in first and talk about what leverage trading is. What leverage trading is, is effectively the same thing as margin trading. You can take an amount of money and you borrow against that money so that you can actually trade larger quantities. The downside in doing that is that when you're trading larger quantities, you can't just keep running it up forever or running it down forever. You, you, there's gonna be a limit to how much you can lose. The upside is you can win as much as you can win or gain as much as you can gain. But on the downside, if you're running at a loss, there's gotta be a point where they have to stop you out or cut their losses with you. And that's what you call you know, a liquidation. So here, here's what you've got. And I'm just gonna walk through this briefly. So you've got Bybit, you've got the, the trading screen itself is here. Then you've got your order book, which shows you the current price. Now I'm using a test net, but the price is pretty, pretty close to you know, live with the actual price and a, uh, a market price, which is what the actual external markets are doing. It's a slight variance, but they use this particular price for liquidation, which we'll talk about in a lot more detail later. And then all the recent trades, so you guys can see exactly how much has been trading and what volume of trade has taken place in the last trades. You can see if it's red, it's for sells, and if it's green, it's for the buys. So you can see, you know, if there's a lot of buy orders going through at once, you get a pretty good idea. There's a lot of people buying. Then over on the right side here, they've got their limit orders, their market orders, are conditional. I'm going to cover all that in a lot more detail to get you guys completely up to speed on how to li do limit orders, what bar market orders are, the difference between them in terms of costs and conditional orders, which most people don't talk about, but I'm gonna go into that too in future episodes. And um, so more importantly, so the leverage part, which is what we're here to talk about in terms of what is leverage trading and how Bybit works, it's here, it's sitting in this little corner up here in the top right. And then uh, the last part is it just shows you a bit more details here about the contracts that are currently running, because these are contracts, they're perpetual contracts, but you're not physically owning Bitcoin when you buy Bitcoin. You are buying uh, contracts to either gain or lose Bitcoin, depending on how well your trades go. So the trades are done in a nominal USD. They're not actual dollars. It's literally trading Bitcoin for Bitcoin, but they're using a notional currency that's a, a contract. And each contract is worth roughly a dollar. And I'm gonna get into that in more detail too. Now down here below the actual trading screens, you've got a couple of other things going on. The most important one is this little box down here, which has got your positions, your closed PL anything that's active, anything that's conditional, uh, anything that's been filled in your order history. And there's a lot of information in here, so I won't go into all the details of that, but this is just a quick walkthrough to show you guys what, what's going on. And then up at the top, you've got some other things like you can you know, dig into your assets and look at what your withdrawals are, what you can look at, uh, where you can deposit money. And uh, that's all you know, important stuff that we can dig into as well. And finally, of course, there's more information here, which is just reference guides and help information. But you know, I'll be honest, the help information is not the best, which is why I'm doing these episodes, because I want to help you guys out so that you get a much better understanding of how to actually trade and how to use the full power and might of Bybit, because I'm telling you guys, there are a lot of features in here that people are not taking advantage of, and I want to make sure you guys get the access to those, to those and advantage of them. So let me just talk very, very briefly about what leverage trading is and how it works, just to give you an overview, but I'm gonna follow back with future episodes. I'm keeping these episodes each to about five to seven minutes long, so you don't have to you know, sit here for a long time. And I've got about 15 different things I'm gonna be covering, 20 things I'm gonna cover over the course of the next few weeks, getting into things about trailing stops and what conditional trading is and leverage and limit trading and stop limits and all sorts of weird combination things and how to open and close positions. And there's a whole bunch of different cool things in here. Um, so let me just tell you very briefly about what leverage trading is and how it works. The, let's just use, for example, I've got an available balance right now of 0.22 test net Bitcoin. So let's pretend Bitcoin. Now that 0.22, if I was doing a literal trade of one for one, then the maximum amount I could trade would be 0.22. And what you'll see 
is this is the uh, the actual quantity in you know nominal U.S. dollars. So if I put in something like twenty thousand, you're going to see down below that the cost of that is two point four Bitcoin. Which of course I don't have two point four Bitcoin right now, so I wouldn't be able to do a trade like this to go long or to go short. I couldn't buy it. I couldn't short it. Um, so the cost here is two point four five. Now. If I wanted to actually get 20,000, but I only have 0.2. Well, 0.2 is roughly, what, about 1,600? So let's try doing something like 1,500. So you'll see here the available margin is 0.22 and the order value is 0.18. So that's close enough. Now, uh, and the cost here is 0.18. So same number. What happens when you do leverage trading is you're literally going to increase the amount that you can trade. So for example, if I want to go from one to two and I just change it to two, what you're going to see happen is that the cost has literally gone down by half. So that's how much it's going to cost me now. That means that the amount that I can actually trade will be roughly double. So let's call it 3000. So I can now take out an order value of 0.36 Bitcoin, but I'm only going to trade 0.18. So I'm already getting twice as much Bitcoin in my order at this particular trade. And this can go on and on. So if I wanted to take this up to, let's say, 5x, so let's just move it up to 5x. And um, so because of that, I'm going to go from, from uh, one and a half to about seven and a half. Is that right? So that's going to still cost me 0.18, same number. Um, but look at that. I'm at 0.9 Bitcoin. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, why is this important to cover this? And what's the, what's the important the meaning of this? Well, let me just tell you guys this. The, the, the reason for doing this is, of course, you can trade more Bitcoin than you physically own. But here's the thing. When you get into doing trades, you're going to see that there's this thing that's called a liquidation price. And you'll see that right here when you're looking at the positions in terms of what you actually have when you do a trade. Now, just to, to give you an example, I'm going to just do this as if it's a market order. I'm going to show you what a buy long looks like. And... When I do that, I'm going to show you guys here real quick, and this is where I'm going to end it. But what you'll see is the order price, the order value, which is, uh, is zero right now, the, uh, the cost, which is 0.18, which is really the same as what I've got in my account. I have 0.22. The margin available is the 0.22. So there's the difference between the two. Um, the leverage was the 5x, which we set up. The position, 7,500. And then the market price, which is the current value or the current price of trading, if I traded it right now, is 8,185. And then you'll see an estimated liquidation price. That's the 6,846, which I'm highlighting here for you guys. Why is that important? Because it means that that's the maximum amount. That's the, let's say, the, the bottom, that's the floor price that I can actually trade to before it would close my position and take away all my money. So of course, you don't want to have that happen to you. I'm going to talk about how we prevent ourselves from being closed out of positions and not get liquidated. But that's effectively how it works. Um, you know, you're able to take more position, but what they're doing is they're actually setting a floor for you, the, the, the absolute bottom or the absolute top if you're going the opposite direction and shorting. Um, but this is where I'm doing a long position. Because I'm buying, the most it can drop is to go from 8,000, uh, what was it, 8,000, uh, 185 and the most it can drop to is 6,846. Now that might sound like, oh, you know, that's a big distance and it should be fine. But hey, you know what? Bitcoin's volatile and it could drop to 6,800 and you could get liquidated. So there's a downside risk every time you do a trade. And what you'll see is if I move this back from point, you know, from five back to one and I change this back to 1,500 and I do exactly the same type of trade. So what you'll see now is when I change this, you know, my estimated liquidation price has gone down to 4,102. So just by reducing my position, my leverage from, 5, 000, from 5X down to 1X, I'm literally moving my liquidation price down. So there I'm reducing the risk, but I'm also getting a one-to-one -one trade. So, you know, there's something between you wanting to do one-to-one -one trades, which is one Bitcoin for one Bitcoin, or wanting to get five or 10 or 20X of your trade value. But in doing that, your liquidation price will go closer and closer to your actual trade value, the closer you get, um, and depending on how much you're trading. So hopefully that all makes sense. If you don't have, if you don't fully understand it, you've got questions, you wanna check in with me, just drop a note down in the links down below, uh, ask anything you wanna ask in the comments down below, and I will absolutely get back to you guys and let you know how to do it. And uh, we'll be back again with another episode where we'll get into more details around how to execute the trades and how to manage trades more effectively. 
So stay tuned. I will be back with lots more on how to execute trades and do trades in Bypit doing leverage training.